Welcome to Linux tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how to set up high available load balancer with two nodes by using a proxy and a key pillar on center 7 Load balancer is a concept which can produce high availability for our observers. If in case our load balancer fail means our clients cannot be able to access the observer, so we need to set up the high availability for load balancer also. For this setup, we can use HA proxy and the key parallel software to set up high availability for the load balancer. So for this setup, we need four machines. Two machines will act as load balancer and then another two machines will act as observers. Here you can see, I have taken four machines. This is the load balancer one and then this is load balancer two. This is the observer one and the observer two. You can see the IP address for these machines. So I'm going to set up load balancer on these two machines. And then I have installed observer packages for these two observers. Here you can see the observers up and running. And then next we need to configure common IP address for this two load balancer which means virtual IP address. Here you can see I have configured two IP address for the single network interface. If you want to configure two or more IP address for a single network interface you can click here and choose wired settings. And then click here and choose IPv4. Here you can able to add two or more IP address for single network interface. And then we need to make some entry in our host file. Here you can see the entry in my host file. This is the first load balance machine and then load balancer 2 machine and the two observers and the virtual IP address so you can make entry like this in your host file if you don't have DNS now let's configure the load balancer on this two machine and now install the HA proxy software on the two machines Run this command on two load balancer. Now the package is installing. Wait for some time. Now the HF is installed on both load balancer. Next we need to configure the proxy. Now open the HA proxy configuration file in space slash etc slash HA proxy slash HA proxy dot cfg. Now here come down go to this line and change the port number to et. And come on this line, put a symbol and come to the end of the file. Here, come on all these lines and then create the entry as follows. Now, add this two line here. This is the host name and IP address for the observers. So, whenever you call the IP address for the load balancer. It will redirect to this observers only. Now save and close the file. And to do the same step on the load balancer 2 machine.
After that, sort a service for a chip proxy. And enable it. Do this on this machine also. Next, you need to configure firewall for both the machines. So, follow the steps. Now, open this file and paste this entry in this file and save and close the file. Next, move to this directory and run this command and then run this command also. Next, we need to open the port for the proxy in the firewall. So, type the command firewall hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen permanent space hyphen hyphen add hyphen service equal to ha proxy and reload the firewall and do the same step on this machine Now the chip proxy is configured on this both machines. Next we need to configure keep allowed on this both machines. The chip proxy will provide load balancer and then keep allowed will provide high availability for this two load balancer. Now install the package for keep allowed for both load balancer machines. In space, install space, keep allowed iPhone Y and hit enter. Now wait for some time. After installing the package, we need to read the configuration file for key pillars on both load balance machines. Now open the configuration file. Here you can see we have lots of entry in this file. So let's quit and then make a backup for this file. Now create backup. Now simply rename the file. and then create new configuration file now here create the entry as follows now create entry like this now, now create entry like this and save the file and and save the file and then start an enable service and then start an enable service systemctl space start space keep allowed Now repeat these steps on load balancer 2.
now that's all now the load balance is configured with the chair proxy and the key panel now we can check the load balance now open your browser now here type the IP address for the virtual IP we have configured on the load balancers here my IP is 192.168.5.1 200. Now we can able to see the content of the observers. Now we are viewing the second observer content on this bar, first observer. We can able to access the observer by using the virtual IP address or else we can able to access by using the load balancer IP address. Or else we can ask it directly. This is the IP for first observer, and then this is the IP for second observer. So we can able to access by using the virtual IP address. Now we can see now the load balancer is running. Now open your terminal and go for any of the load balancer and stop the service now we can see now this load balancer is disconnected from the network so still we can answer the observer by using the first load balancer here you can see so that's all about configuring load balancer by using HA proxy and the key payload hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching